Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we finally made it to the Moon Kingdom. We were able to hop around in the low gravity with some rabbits. Then we made it inside the moon somehow, which is full of lava. Took out Madame Brutal. And now we're going to explore this stinky cave. Do you enjoy boring stinky kit? Oh. This is just a tunnel. If you enjoy that, uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, now we're on the other side of this area. This is extra loud in my headphones, so I'm going to turn this down. There we go. Wee! As much as I love the old bing bonging, I guess the game feels bad for you. And here's some complimentary coins for all the lives you probably lost or didn't if you're better at this game than I am. Ever after hill. Well, isn't that a beautiful sight? Hurry! Cappy, how about you don't tell me what to do? I'm gonna roll my way up there. I need you to back off. Now, obviously you're gonna wanna go inside, but that's not where my brain goes, of course. This kinda looks like the Temple of Time from Breath of the Wild. And I would have to assume there's probably at least one moon in the back. <gasps> Is that a frog? Yes? Why wouldn't we enter the party as a Roberto? Whee! Look how fast we're going, viewers. I imagine that they want you to get on the roof somehow. The roof! Whee! Ooh, yeah, there we go. Can already see that that's probably... Can I have you just hang out for a moment? Can I just, like, park my frog here? Okay, cool. He's just like, bleh. I think if you... Oops, you gotta hold... Hold Cappy there on that little stanchion. Whoop. Or not. Cool game, thanks. Had it right the first time, just... Didn't give it the right amount of timing. Did he just say his name? A Gappy! Stay up there. I think I lost my frog, but... In doing so, I did get on the moon! Just the tip, very cool. I do wanna grab that frog again though, because I am not satisfied in my belief that that is the only moon that you can get on top of this building. I don't know that for sure. And of course, the majority of the things that I do in this Let's Play are very much seat of the old pants. So I'm making it up as I go. I do love the sound of this. I'm gonna shut up for a second. <laughs> Blup, 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 blup. Whee! All right, let's see if we can get on top of the building. Doing so probably nets us something else. With this big old bale. Whoop! Is there a moon inside of it? Is there a moon at the very tip? Oh, there's coins up there. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I was not expecting to be able to get up that high. Is there, a, is there a power moon inside the bell? I thought I saw one. I'm on it now. Am I wrong? What's inside? Ooh, we just fell inside. Ooh, the wedding hall. Well, if you come in through the top, you can get yourself another moon. Cassandra! It's a deep cut for all of you. Up in the rafters, I'm stuffed to the rafters. Okay. It always makes me wonder like, when Nintendo made this, they're obviously pandering a bit to the idea of what weddings are like, but like, whose weddings? It just, just seems like a classic, like, waspy wedding? Is that what this is? Let me in! I'm here. And I'm ready to ruin the wedding. Peach did not look upset about the fact that she is about to be involved with Bowser right now. Peach, what is going on? What did you... Awful, 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 awful. Oh, you look so sad. What is going on? Yeah, that's a good question. Why are these? Why are all these critters here? The Toasterinans look like they're having a good time. I was forced to attend this ceremony. Don't worry, I'll put an end to this. That's a giant ring. That's like bigger than Peach's body. It's bigger than Bowser's fingers. That's not how rings work. <gasps> how dare you, Bowser? Ooh, Cappy is mad. 
I think we're about to do battle here. Of course, there's a trapdoor. Oh, Cappy is. Ugh, oh, tried his best. Poor guy. Maybe if Mario laid off the cannolis. Oh, boy. Oh, that's alarming. Ooh, that's creepy. Don't care for that very much. Tacky for you. <laughs> uh, we're wearing like the same thing. You just got a little cravat. Get over yourself. Time for you to make like a bouquet. Oh, gosh. Not your best work, Bowser. You are a dad after all. I'd expect more out of you. Okay, so this is a little bit of a redux of the Cloud Kingdom fight, if you remember this. Obviously with a... Up in the ante. Now, we are the hat. Yes, so Bowser's turning up the heat a little bit. That was not smart. Let's go in here and just punch him right in the groin. He's a little tuckered out, though, from getting punched right in the, uh, in the jewels. That's right. I love Bowser's hair, though. They kind of swooped it over a little bit. Gave him a bit of a... Uh, more of a modern cut. Okay, I'm not sure how you avoid that. I guess that works. Hoping I'll have more opportunities for uh, recovery here, because I am not doing my my bestest. This is why you hang back for a moment in fights like these. Let Bowser tucker himself out a little bit. I think if you punch these, you get hearts, maybe. These shells are pretty menacing. Oh, oh boy. I'm doing my best to dodge here. That's cool. I always love whenever I get a, uh, a good solid amount of attacks and then I blow it right away. Whoa. Okay. Right back to the Grundle. Cappy is very happy about this. Murder him! Kill our enemies! Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this. Whoa, that should have probably hit me. Oh, you cannot duck that. Oh no! Well, that's a good way to start this fight. I was doing so good! So well. So okay, alright. I like how they don't just put you right back into the fight. You have to just awkwardly roll your way up the red carpet. And we're gonna skip this and jump right into it again. Would have been good if I wasn't so dumb. Here we go. Now I know the mechanics. Once again, I uh, my muscle memory for these moments is limited. So it's essentially kind of like I'm playing it for the first time. And I would have been fine had I not blown it with these, with these rocks. All right, make sure you get yourself out of the way. Oops. I say that as I don't get out of the way. Feels good, though, to rough Bowser up a little bit, doesn't it? A little cartoon violence never hurt anybody, except for the people that it hurts. Whoa. I don't like this. Ooh. Okay, I thought that would've counted, but... Definitely need to hit the bricks here. At least a couple times, because I am hurting. So we're gonna stay back and wait for Bowser to Help us out with some resources. It's nice of him to do that. I don't think you can punch these shells. Probably just the just the bricks. Which I need that. Thanks. Maybe one more would be cool. Before we jump in to do more damage. Unless you only get one. It appears you only get one per. That's a little annoying. Oop. This kind of feels like the final one of the final fights from the the Galaxy series. Someone said the Odyssey series, which is not a thing. Yeah, it only gives you the one. But I can get in close. Okay, then once he starts playing defense, that's when you really gotta back up. Let him do his thing. Okay. Oh, man. I was... That shouldn't have hit me. That's lame.
Okay, I guess you do have to do it that way. I thought I was going to be able to just kind of back up a little bit and avoid it. Oh, I'm not confident. And it's this attack that really gets me. I guess he's got to kind of jump over the, the jump rope here. But it's a lot. That had five attacks to it. Oh, boy. This is getting a little topsy-turvy. Whoa! Oh! That shouldn't have hit me. This episode is just going to be this fight, I have a feeling. Well, at least it's entertaining. I hope. And skip, and a 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 skip, skip. All right, whoa. <laughs> I was rubbing my eyeball. That's a good start to the fight, isn't it? I need the game to feel, have a little mercy on me. Can also shake the pro controller to punch. No, I will not. All right. Okay, we're back to even now. Feel pretty okay. Ooh. Yeah, these hitboxes on these... That's unfortunate. Ugh. This is starting off worse than the last two attempts. I don't think the game's going to throw any more bones my way. I think it's probably one per round. One brick thing per cycle. And you got to keep going all the way. Oof. I timed that jump very poorly, as you saw. So that means now that I'm going to have to basically not take any hits on the second round. He's going to be blowing his fire. This is probably going to kill me. Thankfully, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, viewers, this fight is fun. I'm having a really good time. As you can tell, clearly not struggling in the slightest. Oh, wait, there's a... Can you give me a bonus heart? Oh, my gosh. This was not here originally. This is the game clearly showing me that I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, it does. Thanks. I'm not too proud. I will gladly take extra HP for a fight like this. This is this is tough. And I'm also trying to commentate as I'm playing, so... I'll consider that allowed. And if you don't like that, you can get out. I just need to make sure that I don't dip below four. Great start. Give me that. All right, he's gonna probably jump away. No, I got to him in time, very nice. Okay. Cool, all right, so first round. Flawless. Sort of. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the hitbox is for the, for the flamethrower. It's a little hard to tell, but we did make it to the third round in the one version of the fight. I do feel mildly confident that I can do it again, especially now with the bonus HP. Thank you, Crazy Cap Store. Appreciate you. Yeah, I don't think I can hit these. Just gonna avoid everything. All right, snuck it on in there. Time for the rope a dope. Oh, we just two. Oops. And if you miss time it, then you don't get a chance at all. That's pretty uncool. All right, let's see if we can get back up to full here. No? Game is selfish. Okay. And one. And two. Okay, so you have to dodge both. That's got to be brutal, though. He's getting, like, punched with his own hat into his arena of spikes. Okay. Yeah, I think you can just jump over it, but it doesn't feel like you should be able to. Like, I feel like I'm jumping into it every time. I'll take it, whatever. All right. Throw me your 800 hats. Ooh, it puts the, the real hat in the middle. Oh no. Where is it? Oh no. How about another? Oh, yikes. I think you can knock these out. Ooh, these turn into hearts, too? I did not know that. That is good to know. 
I was avoiding them last time because I thought it was just danger, when in reality it would have saved me. Cool! Thanks, game. Alright. I gotta stop losing tabs on the real hat. There it is. Give it to me. Gimme, 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 gimme! Alright. So he's gonna be jumping around. Spouting off. I don't think this is any different. This is a pretty tricky boss fight, though. I'll give them credit. This is not easy. Especially considering that I'm not good at it. Okay, one, two, and three. All right. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, it was just in like half cycle. That was weird. Boom. I hit him so hard I knocked his clothes off. Now you're mad and naked. Peach just explodes. Oh no, she's pregnant. It's gonna be like a chest burster from aliens. We beat the game, we did it. Yay. Oh, just kidding. Now the world's exploding. Hey. Uh, guys, should probably do something about this. The moon rocks. The sky is falling. Is there a sky? There's no atmosphere. Oh no. Mario's hurt, Bowser's knocked out, Peach is useless, I mean. Oh, Cappy, ever alert, always concerned about our enemies and our girlfriend, friend, friend zone. No. Oh. Well, this is one of the uh, unexpected captures of the game. We get to become Bowser now. Oh! Yeah, this is weird. Bowser's filled with pee! <laughs> I've shown all the variants of Bowser from the different games. And we're inside his memory, apparently, too. Alright. I guess, technically, we are kind of possessing him. <laughs> oh, look at this. Isn't that something? Yes! Who's ready for a threesome, I mean? Alright, here we go. So this is a, uh, a race to the top. We are Bowser. We have Bowser's strength to help us along the way. But we need to get the heck out of here because the moon is falling apart from the inside. Everything is turning to gold somehow. I don't... Or maybe it's cheese? That wouldn't upset me. I mean, it would upset my stomach, but not me on, like, a personal level. So, the moon escape is, uh, certainly a thing. I've created a pathway here. Let's move on. Okay, can we fit in here? I guess we are now. Okay, apparently we're having trouble going around corners. Oh, cool. <laughs> I guess I should have probably cleared out the rest of that pathway instead of just assuming I could make it. And wouldn't you know it, the game is kind enough to let me start over again. A little mulligan to repent. Yeah, I don't quite understand the... Uh the golden platforms and what that signifies. Everything kind of looks like caramel popcorn. You guys are probably like, what kind of caramel popcorn are you eating? Okay, apparently that is not a uh, way to go. The pathway is no bueno. I mean, it's no good, of course. Let's build the bridge again. Continue progressing through. Hopefully not screwing this up twice. Who knows? I do like the animation of Bowser, just kind of like... Awkwardly trying to shuffle. Oh, yeah, we can shoot fire blasts. That's nice. It's a nice little touch from uh, the original Mario. Ooh, ground is collapsing below us. We probably need to get going. Use our repertoire of moves here to continue to progress. Okay, we made it. 
Nice little transition from 2 to 3D. Probably need to just jump over this. Just hammering the buttons right now. And you do get the nice kind of like Odyssey theme though, but it's a little more frantic, of course. I guess Bowser's claws are capable of destroying these moon rocks or something. I don't get it. Okay. Wow, good eye, Cappy. All right, and some Sonic level, Sonic Adventure level butt rock. Oh yeah, this is butt rock central. What am I supposed to be doing here? I have no idea. I want to guess it's like destroying these things and maybe these pillars. We'll smash it. Okay. Please don't do this to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. I had to avoid the popcorn kernels in the process. The game is kind of telegraphing where things are going to be, and I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> I'm just very much brute forcing the ending of this game. Is this in English, this song, whatever this is? Or is this like Japanese, like gibberish rock? Like they clearly got somebody that's like a non-native English speaker to start uh, sing a song in English. That's what this sounds like. Yeah. All right, I'm just really just smashing that button. Smashing that like, bell, subscribe. Thanks, Cappy. Oh boy. Nothing like a little tension. Okay, I got a bob and weave here. Don't, please don't touch me. I'm gonna hit this button as hard as I can. <laughs> please just let me finish this. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going supersonic apparently. What a weird. <laughs> Climb up the vine. What is this nonsense of a song? I gotta go back and like listen to this on my own without all this additional audio making it hard to tell what they're saying. Climb up the vein, whatever they're saying. All right, Bowser's dead now. Let's kiss. We did it. Suck on that, Bowser. Are these two brother and did he say it was his sister? Let's not make this weird. Close your eyes. There's adults here. I'll bring the music back. Where's that coming from? <laughs> here, Speed Flower. This music kind of has like a Dr. Mario. Is this is this how women live their lives? Like being chased after by men, just kind of waving their waving their wangs. It's always a contest. Peach is like, I'm over it. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> That's a nice touch. She's like, I got no sugar for you two. See ya, bye. I'm taking the house and the kids and I'm leaving. I'll see you in court. Oh, Mario just straight up booted Bowser. All right. So that's uh, Super Mario Odyssey. That's the game. That's it. Wow. Guys, we beat the game. That was uh, incredible. 20 episodes, 22 episodes, I can't count, to uh, tackle this wonderful wonderful adventure hopefully you enjoyed yourself there's plenty of uh credits for you to enjoy can i skip these yes i can i'm going to skip the movie please and thanks sorry about that people who made this game no disrespect but uh not interested in that but what i am interested in is moon rocks and frogs so We'll see what that's about here in a moment. For some reason, it's only in French and English. Cool, great, awesome. So this is all the stuff you obviously unlock. 
when you do beat off the final boss, you land yourself in the Mushroom Kingdom? Huh. Well, that is something that we'll deal with next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. And I'll see you next time for more. Bye.